All right, look, today's gonna be a little different. Now, if you remember, I got a guitar kit from Guitar Kit World. I got one of my friends coming over, his name's Jim, and I've asked him to build this guitar kit. My name's Jim, and I'm replacing Sean today. I don't know anything about guitars, but for whatever reason, Sean has asked me to come here and build this guitar kit. Now, hang on just a dang minute. You're probably asking yourself right now why I want some guy that knows nothing about making guitars to build a guitar kit. Jim can't even play the guitar. But look, most of you guys have never built a guitar, and you're gonna be just like him. Even though you can play, you know nothing about guitars either. Most of you do, but some of you don't. This video is for the guys that don't. We're gonna watch Jim build this guitar kit from scratch with very little help from me and see what it comes out like. All right, let's do it. Well, like he said, let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is hit this thing with some 400 grit sandpaper. That mahogany just takes red so good, don't it? It does like the red. Yeah. It's supposed to be red. I really like the way that the body shape is on this thing. Make sure you get all these splotches off of it. See them over here? Before you get way over there, make sure it's all rubbed in good. Don't let anything dry splotchy. 40 minutes later, six paper towels, and I should have put on some gloves. You sure should have, man. You guys take notes on that little mistake he made there by not putting the gloves on. Make sure you do, you bonehead. Because my fingers will be red for a while. Now that I've rubbed it with some stain, the grain is raised a little bit. You can feel it, it's kind of rough. I'm gonna take this 400 grit sandpaper and smooth it out real quick. Here we go. For the clear coat, I got this cool pearl from AutoZone. I need to put a little stain on the neck. I do not want to get it on the fretboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two boards as a clamp to hold it as I tape it down. Simply the gravity. So That's a, that's a pretty good idea, Jim. I honestly didn't help him with this either. So I thought of this all on its own. Nut. I got my gloves for the neck because I didn't use them for the body. And I regretted it later. Now just hang on a dang second. Man, I'm telling you, the headstock look a lot better black. Let's do that. How do you like the bracket I hung on Sean's neighbor's fence? Redneck engineering. Man, you did a good job on that body, bro. And that thing does have some figuring in it. I was wrong. That's not from no sander. That really is some figuring. Yeah, this thing's a beauty, man. Look at the back. That's some real figuring. But well, what'd you do? You separated everything? Took it out of the package. Each one is all separated out for each step, I believe. All right, so what are you going to do first? Okay, so we're going to install the electronics now. Well, I watched a couple videos on YouTube. Y'all will tell me if I'm doing it wrong, right? We brought it inside to wire it up. So what does that wire go to? Goes to the bottom pickup. Goes to the bridge pickup. Yeah. That's the hot. That was the hot. And this yeah. one goes to the ground. Which one? The bear. Okay. I see. I see. You said there's a hole in there. You said there's a hole in there? Huh. There should be. He didn't lie to you. I found it. Nice. Clean soldering, Jim. Y'all see Jim? <laughs> I told you I watched a YouTube video. Right on. I'm a horrible cameraman. I'm a horrible solder. <laughs> you look doing good to me. We bend it right there so it'll go in there. And make it nice and straight. Twist our wires. 
Now, now we go back for the heat. Come on, baby. Now, there was already solder on those posts. Guitar World had already put them on there for you. Made it real, it made it a lot easier for sure, sure did, for huh? me. Because all I had to do was heat it up and pop it in there like that. And I look, I look like a professional. Really, I have no experience with that. <laughs> that was sure. easy. Yeah, you sure did. That was a good job, Guitar Kit World. So those are all ready. Those are all ready. So then this one goes on this switch over here. Yeah. This is a ground wire. Yeah, it goes on any one And this ground pots. wire goes to the bridge. Yes, sir. Okay, so I have to put it on this pot down here. You got your bridge post in? You got a ground wire in there? Yes, the ground wire is hanging out. It's going to get drove in. Yeah, I can see it hanging out a little bit. Okay, cool. What are you doing with that? I'm going to use this block so I don't smash the guitar and the bridge post. I have to seat it. That's how it goes. But at least I did two at once. Monkey can turn the screws. Any monkey can do it. Like I said, I don't know anything, but this goes on the bottom to hold the string. I assume. I must need a different way. That's why I hate those bridges. You see how many parts it is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Those go on the inside. Good job. Yeah. You might have to force it on there a little. Just line it up a little. And the black headstock does look cool. But before I put these tuners in, I'm going to work on the frets. It lays nice and level, and I can work on it easily. That's rocking pretty bad. That one's okay. That one's rocking. That ain't good. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, the whole fret job is pretty bad, huh? Yeah. Now just hang on a dang minute. I bet you the reason these frets aren't in there good is just because they're not seated very good. I bet you if we put them in my press, it'll probably fix most of these problems. These were pressed in really quickly in the factory because they're there to make a lot of stuff. Not super quality stuff because this is for you to do later that's why it's a guitar kit now if this came from a store I'd be pretty upset but this is a guitar kit and this is what I'm supposed to be doing with this so let's do it now if you don't have a fret press you can do this with your fret hammer okay but th we have this on hand and this will probably take care of this we'll see it's gonna give us minimal fret work I'm sure See it seating it better, can't you? All right, fresh off the press. All right, looking good, huh? Yeah. Really? Really? Huh? I think it fixed it. No rocking. Really? No huh? rocking. Nothing at all. No rocking at all, man. So just pressing them in fixed it. Don't even have to do any leveling or crowning now. That's kind of crazy, huh? Worked good. Let's get the tuners on, Jim. I gotta tell you, man, this little baby's looking pretty good. But watch this. I'm gonna take the neck out. Look, no screws. You know, I'm a big fan of this kind of thing right here. Watch this. <laughs> Look, all the hardware's on it, and it's just in there. <laughs> 
That's a nice, nice, nice tight neck pocket. You always do the back first. Yep, tighten them up good. Tighten it. Do the next one. I couldn't have hoped for any better. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of you too, bro. Let's put this pick guard on. Nah, listen. I gotta stop you right there, because we want to put the strings on it first before you put the pick guard on. So then you can line the pick guard up evenly with the strings perfectly. If you do it now, probably gonna be a little off. But if we put the strings on first, the guys will line up sweetly. So I can just do the top and the bottom string? Yeah, basically, if that's what you want to do. Because it just lines up your pickups. So yeah, you could just do those first two strings and then bolt it on. Because you're going to get to line the pickup up, see? Okay. With this, the way the strings go. Now we can move the pick guard around. And make sure it's centered with the pickups. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So now that your pickups are lined up perfectly, you're going to put the pick guard in there, huh? Finally. Yep. Thank you for showing me that. Oh, it's on, ain't it? She could play <laughs> Well, Jim did a pretty good job on this thing, man. Came out pretty nice and pretty happy with it. Black headstock definitely looks better. Now, of course, I set this up and did the intonation on this, but Jim built it from the ground up. Now, look, just like any other guitar kit, you guys know the problems and what's wrong with this thing. I really like this neck and body. I can't make this for you for $220. I sure can't. It plays just as good as any guitar I've ever made for sure once I set it up. see the pickup, right? I can't get it close to the string that's maxed out in its height right now. And because the pickup's really low, it makes a low output, you know what I mean? It needs to get up close to the strings so the vibration can be picked up by the pickup. I could easily fix that by deepening the neck pocket. Like I said, this is a good guitar. Of course, the tuners suck. It won't stay in tune. Electronics suck. There's very little range in the volume and the tone. The switch is just fine, though. The output jack is great. You guys know I'm not a fan of these bridges. But as far as these bridges go, this one's just fine. I like the chrome speed knobs. Nice touch. It's got beautiful low action. Listen, if Guitar Kit World really wanted to, they could put a set of Grovers on this, put some full-size pots in here, and some better pickups. And you got yourself something super nice. If you go to Guitar Kit World, to their website, it's in the description, and you grab one of their tele kits. I'm gonna run a little contest. Now before I finish telling you what the contest is, pay attention. If you hit that link and use that code, you'll get some money off your kit. If you buy the tele kit, I want you to videotape you building it and send it to me on Facebook or Instagram. We're gonna do a live video. I'm gonna run those videos by. We're gonna check out all the guitars that you guys make and we're gonna let the guys in the chat vote. Now whoever wins is gonna get that tele kit upgraded to the fullest. You're going to get a set of vintage wound bona fide pickups. You're going to get a set of graph tech locking ratio tuners. You're going to get full size pots and an orange drop capacitor. You're going to get a set of Elixir 10's electric guitar strings. So let me know in the comments if you're going to be in the build. This is a beautiful platform to upgrade. Real talk guys. Now I'm going to prove my point by upgrading this guy in another video. And then I'm going to give it to one of you. If you really need this guitar and you live in the United States, by all means, comment on this video down here that you do. 
because I'm going to pick somebody in the video that I upgraded in. I'm going to spread the love and send this guy to you for free. Now look, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you. Jim was a real good sport. I appreciate you guys watching. If you get a second, you're not scared, hit that thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the build video. But until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar. And the head stops growing on me. After putting it together, seeing it all together like this, it's growing on me for sure. I knocked it at first, but hey man, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that.